What is this funny shaped bag in a gym? You might have seen them before. These are called a teardrop bag or a wrecking ball. Came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> 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 and that's not what they're used for. You might have seen them for that, but they're not used for that. And on this video, I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of using one of these bags. This is actually one of my favorite pieces of equipment in a boxing gym. And as well, Conor McGregor, the MMA fighter, he trains here in Box and Burn every time he's in Los Angeles. And he always uses this ball right here. He loves this as well. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a clip of Conor McGregor in this gym using this wrecking ball. Big thank you to Bass Bazvik for leaving me this video request in the comments below. Guys, if you've got any video requests, let me know and I'll be doing as many of them videos as I can. My name's Tony Jeffries, Olympic bronze medalist, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European champion, and on this YouTube channel, I give you lots of boxing education. Fight breaks downs, everything boxing. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications for lots more videos like this. So the pros of hitting one of these. I love it because even though it's big and it's heavy, you can hit it really hard because it's pretty soft as well. So I can blast this bag and I'm hitting it full power and there's not much impact on my hands, on my shoulders, on my elbows because like I said it's very soft so you can whack it and you're going to be good so you can use it for working on your power punches. Next thing is you can work on uppercuts on here compared to a traditional bag it's very hard, virtually impossible, to practice uppercuts on a long traditional bag. Now with this bag here, you can practice throwing uppercuts from both sides. Your lead uppercut, your rear uppercut, and as well, you can practice on combinations, adding the uppercuts in, like this. Moving on, it's great for movement. You can work a lot of footwork with this as well, especially if you've got space to move around. Because when it's swinging and it's coming to you, you can move around, hit it, move your feet, move your feet, which I love about this. Yeah, it's great for working on footwork as well. And one more quick thing before I move on to the cons that I want to add in. I feel like it's easier to put one of these up than a heavy bag. It's easier to hold, lift up, and to put up in the heavy bag. I just thought I would add that in as well in case you're looking for a bag to get at home. Now moving on to the cons on this bag. It's kind of the wrong height for you to roll. Now I know this is a bit low for me right now, but even when it's higher, it's hard for, for you to really roll under this. Conor McGregor, you're going to see on the video in a little bit, he rolls underneath this with his wide stance and he gets really low. But like for me, I'm not a fan of trying to roll underneath one of these, especially because of the size of it as well. It's like a huge fist that will be coming at you. So yeah, I'm not a fan of trying to roll underneath the ball. And the next con is you can't really throw body shots on this bag. You can throw uppercuts here, but they're not like real body shots. And like I mentioned, this is a little bit low for me, so I can get down a little bit. But if it was my head height, which the height it's supposed to be, you know, you can't really blast in them body shots, which for me, you know, when I work in the bag, I love to throw lots of body punches. And as well, the other con, I suppose, is it's a big target, a big round target. So it's a lot bigger than the head is. So with it being a big target, I guess you can call that a con as well. But I actually love this bag. I love working on this wrecking ball. I don't like swinging on it like I did earlier. I love to punch it and get a great workout in when I'm using this. Now, before I show you the video of Conor McGregor in this gym working on this bag, guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel for a lot more videos like this. And as well, if you leave a little thumbs up on here, it will really help the channel out. I appreciate that. Now, here it is, Conor McGregor working on the wrecking ball here in Box and Burn, Los Angeles, just before he fought Floyd Mayweather. 